G'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix and I'm glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember we're taking a look at a game called Raptor. Check out this intro. Whoa. This always blew my mind as a kid. It was... Oh my god, it's brutal. Oh shit. You totally wrecked that other ship. Alright, let's do it. Uh, this one was developed by Cygnus Studios and public pub public public published God damn it words published by Apogee software of course in 1994 it's a 2d vertical side-scrolling shooter and uh, that's basically it really let's start a new mission name fancy Felix call sign uh Hey buddy! Choose difficulty. Training mode, rookie, veteran elite. You know, I'm gonna go rookie. Because I haven't played this in 20 odd years. Uh, what can we do? Save pilot. Save Fancy Felix. Hey buddy? Yes, sure. Supply room, what's in there? Harold's Death Emporium. Welcome to the one and only automated one stop shop. All purchases will be loaded and installed free of charge. Oh, I didn't get to finish reading, but that's that's cool. Energy module. You have 75. Cost, 1,000. Uh, okay, what should I buy? I'll buy an ion scanner, because why not? Scanner will search the surrounding area for engine emissions from larger craft. Once detected, it will lock on and a damage indicator. Ah, so it kind of tells me how much health stuff has I don't know let's see how it works now uh, as far as I can glean the story is in the future a mercenary flying the advanced Raptor ship is sent on interplanetary missions to destroy competitors of the megacorps corporation so yeah I'm not a uh... ah okay let's get right into it I'm not exactly a righteous pilot, I'm doing it for the money. Oh man, this brings back so many memories. It's actually a really... Like, I mean, you'd find better shooters than this these days, but it's aged really well. Just a good old-fashioned shooting fun. So every time I destroy something, I get a little bit of money. And uh, I don't die in one hit, which I appreciate. Down the right-hand side, I have a health meter. Ooh. And these things are extra packets of money, I think. Yeah, down the right hand side I have a health meter. What's that? Oh, health. Cool. Oh, well, shields meter, if you want to be technical. I don't have health. I have shields. Whoa. And this gets pretty, pretty hectic uh, later on. I'm just going to try and survive as long as possible if I can here. Uh, so, we're not in space. As far as I can tell, despite everything being kind of like space ships. But there's like water and... Well, maybe we're on a, a planet that also has water, but it's not Earth. And uh, you can destroy stuff that's kind of uh, on the ground and stuff. Like these things. Ooh, yes, missiles. I like that a lot. You can destroy a lot of stuff, which is always awesome. Always fun to destroy stuff. But I also appreciate that uh, the stuff, like buildings on the ground, you can destroy it by shooting it. But if you fly like into it, it doesn't damage you or anything. You can just fly over it. So that's nice. What are these things? Oh, these are just little mines. Nothing to be worried about. So yeah, I used to play this a hell of a lot when I was about three or four years old. And it was a great old time. But I always remember when you die, it plays this kind of disturbing screen, which I will have to show you if it doesn't occur naturally, I'm sure it will, which always bothered me when I was a kid, this this death screen. I was probably just oversensitive, but you'll see what I mean soon enough. Ah, so, let's collect some more money. And this is, this is a very straightforward affair, as you can see. Uh, one criticism I do have for it is, I believe the, uh, weaponry is fairly limited. All you can get on top of your standard blaster is, uh, missiles, then more missiles, then more missiles. 
So it doesn't get fancy or anything like that, but it's okay. It's still good. It's still a lot of fun. Let's see if I can find some more missiles at some point. Doing pretty good so far, actually. I mean, it's not that hard. It's the first level. But uh, this being the shareware version, I think it might be the, the only level we get to play today, which is a bit of a shame. But I hear the other levels are impossible to start on anyway because you need to save up. Oh my god, here's the boss enemy. Ah! Oh, look at that meter at the bottom. Yeah, that's not normally there. That must be what that thing I bought did. Die, you! Ah! Stop that! Uh, yeah! There are boss enemies and they are awesome. Ooh, what's happening now? Oh, okay. I was hoping for a bit more fancier cutscene than that. I've done Bravo Sector. Let's see if I can do Tango Sector. No, you're not gonna let me! To order missions 2 and 3, call 1-800-GAME-123. Only $34.95. Please add $5 for shipping. For foreign orders or other info, fine! Don't let me read it. I don't want to read it anyway. Well, since we can't do any more game, let's have a look at some other interesting things. Wow! Options! No, I didn't think this through, did I? My apologies. Credits! Oh no, don't! I was only just kidding, we don't want to see credits. Alright, programmer Scott Host. That's a very important man, so keep that in mind. One thing I can finally show you is, of course, that death screen I mentioned. Excuse me, where's Fancy Felix? Uh, as I saved it, I want to be Fancy Felix. Fine, Fancy Felix. Hey, buddy! Training mode. wonder what that is. Train mode plays four of nine levels. What? Four of nine levels? What are you talking about? Nope. Still can't do Tango Sector. Well, let's just do Bravo Sector, and I'm going to show you what happens when you die. Because it's, it's, it's interesting and cool. So, how many ships can I absorb... Yeah, die everything. Yeah. Yeah. Another really cool thing that happens uh, when you die. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. But it's a it's a revolutionary feature, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's totally revolutionary. Come on, kill me. Come on. Shields damage! Whoa! Look, my ship's just exploding and I can guide it around and explode everything on the screen. And this is horrifying! Look at it! This is what happens when you die. And this made me freaking depressed when I was a little boy. I was like, oh my god, is he dead? Oh no, he's dead! Ah, the pilot's dead! Dad, I don't want to play this game anymore! <laughs> Maybe I was a wuss. Possibly, but it is horrible. It's horrible. Oh, I guess I can sign out by watching the demo mode. This is a demo of what I can't freaking play right now. I hope you enjoy this. You big tease of a game. Ah, so we're going to end it here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed Raptor. And if you're lucky, maybe you can find a full version of this game. I can't, I can't say I tried very hard, but I had to cover it because I played the hell out of this. As a kid, I think I only had the demo as well, and I probably played it about a hundred times. It's kind of sad, really. But hey, thanks for watching. Uh, drop me a like, subscribe, comment. Anything you want to do is lovely by me, and I will see you next time.